Hello, my dear students. In the last class, I explained about determinatrices and indeterminatrices, uh, and also I have mentioned uh, how to analyze uh, the determinatrices. There are two methods: uh, method of uh, joints and method of uh, sections. Uh, let us uh, today discuss uh, how to analyze the determinatrices using uh, the method of uh, joints. Okay, let us take this example: the truss ABC shows. in figure has a span of 5 meters it is carrying a load of 10 kN at its apex find the forces in the members ab ac and bc okay so this is the given figure the load one load vertical load is acting at a and uh, b and c you have to calculate what is rb and rc uh, so uh, how we can calculate uh, first uh, uh, we have to know this distance okay then only Uh, the forces can be calculated so uh, we'll use the uh, sin 30 how uh, i think all of you know about this i just mentioned you how to calculate that that is sin 30 sin 30 is equal to Uh, so i consider this uh, here this sin 30 that is equal to ab uh, opposite divided by hypotenuse sin Theta or sine thirty is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Opposite is your AB and hypotenuse is BC. So AB is equal to sine thirty into this BC. Sine thirty is half into BC. BC is five. So five divided by two that is equal to two point five. So now AB is uh, Uh, 2.5. Okay, uh, so this is uh, 2.5. Now I want this distance because uh, load is acting at uh, 10. So we want this distance and this distance. How I can let it be? This is BD. How I can calculate uh, BD? So I will take now. I want this distance adjacent. So I can apply cos 60 formula. So cos 60 is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So So adjacent cos 60, adjacent is equal to BD, and hypotenuse is 2.5. So BD is equal to cos 60. Into uh, 2.5 uh, this AB okay uh, because um, uh, uh, I you know this uh, just I will write okay uh, cos 60 that is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is now BD so the hypotenuse is uh, AB so that is equal to 2.5 so 2.5 into cos 60 that is uh, 0.5 so Point uh, five divided by uh, uh, sorry cos sixty is yeah cos sixty is half half into uh, this is two point five that is equal to one point two five so this distance you get uh, this is uh, BD BD is equal to one point two five okay. Uh, so this is one point two five. So uh, this is one point two five. Total distance is five. So five minus one point two five that is equal to three point seven five. So this is one point two five and uh, this is three point seven five. Okay. So. This distance, if you calculate, you can calculate what is R B and R C. Okay, I hope all of you understood. This is simple mathematics. First, I consider sine thirty. Then I found what is A B. Sine thirty is equal to A B divided by B C. So that is uh, equal to you get A B is two point five. Once if you get this, I use cos sixty because I want this distance B D. So cos sixty is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. That is BD divided by AB, so you get BD is equal to 1.25 meter. So the total distance is 5 meter. So 5 minus 1.25 is equal to 3.75. That is distance C and D. Okay. Now uh, this is done. After this, what you have to do? You have to calculate the reaction. What is RB and what is RC? How you can calculate? Uh, uh, how we can take the moments? So first. Uh, Uh, let us take uh, uh, sigma v equal to zero. So R B plus R C that is equal to. 
10. Okay. So, summation of vertical forces that is equal to 0. So, that is RB plus uh, RC upward forces that is equal to downward force that is 10. Okay. So, next apply the uh, moment sigma is equal to 0. So, first I will consider this um, uh, about B, sigma MB is equal to 0. So, what is that? Now, take moment about B. So, minus RC, this one, minus RC into 5 plus, uh, plus 10 into 1.25 or RC into 5 is equal to 10 into 1.25. So, you get RC is equal to 12.5 divided by 5. Okay. So, RC is equal to 2.5 kilonewton. Once if you get RC, RB is what? 10 minus RC that is 10 minus 2.5 that is equal to 7.5 kilonewton. So, RC is equal to 2.5 and RB is equal to 7.5 kilonewton. This is the first step. Uh, uh, after, that, uh, after that, we will find the forces um, uh, in the members AB, AC and BC. So, I will consider now this uh, using the method of joints first you have to resolve the forces uh, like this is the diagram right uh, truss ABC so first I consider the joint B so what are the members now this is one member BA and this is one member BC okay so the same thing here it is uh, shown um, uh, AB and AC okay and uh, then I, uh, the joint C that time I have to consider this AC and CB. So, that is uh, here uh, CA and CB and at B the load acting reaction is 7.5 calculated value and at RC it is 2.5. So, first I will consider this uh, I will refer to this figure at the joint B. So, what you have to consider? First consider the joint B. Let uh, the directions of the forces PAB and PBC. Okay, this is one force and this is another force. Or PBA and PCB also you can consider, no problem. So, first let us consider this. I consider the compression force minus and this as the tensile force, just one assumption. Okay, uh, so and this is 7.5. How you can resolve the forces both vertically and horizontally you have to resolve the forces. So, first I will consider this uh, vertical forces sigma v equal to 0. What is that? This is uh, uh, inclined. So, P A B sin 60 uh, only one force that is <coughs> one force uh, that is downward and this is upward. So, minus PAB sin 60 plus 7.5 is equal to 0 or PAB sin 60 is equal to 7.5. Okay. Now, uh, simplify this. We want the forces in the member AB. So, PAB is equal to 7.5 divided by sin 60. So, you get 8.66. Now, the direction is uh, compression I have considered and I got the result as plus so the assumed direction is correct. If suppose if I get minus 8.66 then what I assumed uh, the direction is wrong. So I have to change the direction means it is uh, instead of compression it would be tension but in this case what happened I consider compression force and got the result plus value so the assumed direction is correct okay. So now this is PAB the forces developed in the members PAB is equal to 8.66 kilonewton that is compression. Okay. Now, um, this is resolved vertically then resolving the forces horizontally that is sigma H is equal to 0. What is the horizontal force now? This is the horizontal force but this is a straight line that is no inclined. So, PBC is equal to this is uh, inclined. So, uh, both uh, we have to consider vertical also horizontal also so pbc is equal to pab cos 60 okay now uh 
what is P, P, uh, AB? We have uh, got this 8.66 PAB into cos 60. Cos 60 is 0.5. So, you get 4.33. That is equal to PBC. Okay. So, now again this is a plus and assume direction is correct. So, this is a tensile force. So, PBC is a tensile force. So, uh, like this you have to resolve both vertically and horizontally and you can find the uh, forces. This is about the joint B. Same method we will follow for the joint C also. Okay. Now consider this figure and uh, consider the joint at C. Okay. Now let the direction of the forces that is P A C and P B C or P C A or P C B. Anything you can consider. So what you can consider here uh, this is a compression force and this P B C is tensile force. So first step is resolve uh, vertically. So sigma V equal to 0. So what happens now this is uh, a downward direction. So P A C sine 30 uh, minus uh, minus P A C sine 30 plus 2.5 is equal to 0. Why plus 2.5? That is upward direction equal to 0 or P A C sine 30 is equal to 2.5. So, you get P A C. What is P A C? 2.5 divided by sine 30. So, sine 30 is 0 0.5. Substitute, you get 5. And this is also plus. So, assume direction is correct. So, this is a compression force. P A C. Now, resolve horizontally and equating it to 0. So, that is sigma H is equal to 0. Here, this is the horizontal member P B C that is equal to P A C cos 30. So P A C is 5 into cos 30 is um, uh, uh, 0.866 cos 30 that is equal to when you multiply this you get 0.33 again the direction is a plus I mean whatever the assumed direction is correct that is tension so like this you can calculate the forces in the members now uh, calculated all the forces what is uh, in PAB PBC and PAC now just write in the tabular column that is uh, member a, B, B, C, A, C. The magnitude of the forces developed A, B is 8.66 and B, C is uh, 4.33 and A, C is uh, 5. Okay. So, like this. Uh, so, right here this is the compression force. This is the tensile force and uh, again this is uh, compression force. I hope all of you understood. Thank you.